Hi, this is Nathan from AppsWP. Today I want to introduce you to our WordPress blog app template and show you how easy it is to turn your blog into an iPhone app. So here we're looking at AppsWP.com's WordPress site. I'm going to go to the admin and install plugins. I'm going to add new. And we need a plugin to make this work first. So we're going to search, search for REST API. And we want to install WordPress REST API version 2. So we'll click install. And we will go ahead and activate it. Don't worry if you don't know what an API is. But basically this plugin allows you to retrieve blog posts, update your blog posts, all without using a web browser essentially turning your WordPress site into an application framework. Currently it's a plugin, but later on this year, hopefully in 2016, it's going to be part of WordPress core, and then you won't need to install additional plugins. But for now, uh, you'll need this plugin to get started. Okay, so on my desktop, I have the WordPress blog app template that I purchased and downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and unzip that file. And we have our folder. Inside the folder, we have a configuration guide that walks you through uh, some of the settings that you can change yourself. And then we have the actual Xcode project itself. I'm going to go ahead and open up this .xc workspace. So obviously you do need a Mac to uh, do development for the iPhone. Xcode only runs on that Mac. And you can download the Xcode software, which is the software environment that you do the programming in. You can down that, download that from the Mac App Store or from developer.apple.com. So here is the template itself. I'll just go ahead and press this Build and Run button up here. It looks like a Play button. Just to check out the app, we haven't done anything but downloaded it and opened it. And we'll see what we get. So currently you're looking at live posts coming from appswp.com through the REST API. I only have two blog posts, a fairly new site. But we can click on here and view our post. We have this beautiful layout. And we'll go back and we have a nice title, uh, beautiful pictures that we can see. And it looks great. So I do want to show you how you can configure your own and uh, also um, show you a website that has more posts so you can see a little bit more in action. So we'll come down here on the left-hand side and go to settings.swift. And this is some of the settings that you can change yourself very simply. So we'll go in here. There's a website setting. And we'll just change that to wired.com. I know that they're a website that uses apps, um, uses the REST API, and they have uh, a lot of blog posts. We'll just change the website name to Wired. And we'll go ahead and press play. So now we're pulling posts from Wired.com via the REST API right into our iPhone app. And you get this beautiful, you see there's lazy loading of the images. So <clears throat> we show a, a placeholder until the image downloads asynchronously. And you do have infinite scrolling. So as you scroll to the bottom, we're going to load more posts. And we'll just click on a post here. Just click on the Apple FBI battle. So again, <clears throat> we're just pulling in their data. It looks great, very readable. We'll go back. We uh, Microsoft has a live keynote, so we'll check that out. This has some video. So we can press play and get inline video. So what I'll do here is this is the app that I can produce. Like and we'll pause that. So that's how quickly you can change some settings. I'll just show you one more. For people that would be interested, you can show ads in the app. So if we change this to true, 
show ads equals true and then we just rerun it you'll now see that we have a nice banner ad at the top from iAd and also if we click on a post you'll see it at the top there and a great uh, quick way to monetize your app I hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration of apps WP's WordPress blog app template and we look forward to seeing your apps on the App Store. Thank you.